tabular presentation is the type of presentation in which the data is given in the form of table. Now, what is tabular presentation? We will define it a table is a systematic presentation of data, systematic presentation of data in the form of rows and columns. Now, what is table? A table is a systematic presentation of data in the form of rows and columns. So, when you make a table, then the data is arranged in a proper order, systematic order and according to the labeled rows and columns, the data is entered in a particular row according to its description. So, this type of presentation is known as tabular presentation. Now, uh, I will give you the format of a table and I will explain the uh, in detail about how to make a table or how to present the data in the form of a table. But before that, let me tell you that a data which is presented in the form of table that uses rows and columns. Now, what are these rows and columns? Columns are the vertical arrangements of data and rows are the horizontal arrangement of data. When the data is arranged in the rows according to their descriptive analysis or according to their description, then this is known as horizontal arrangement of data and columns, they are the vertical arrangement of data. Okay. Now, what are the objectives or what is the importance of making table? First is to simplify complex data. So, first objective, what is the, what are the objectives of making table? First is to simplify data. As I told you earlier, the data is collected in a raw form and the raw data is an unorganized data and it is a very complex form of data. And from the complex data or un unorganized data, you cannot make any kind of analysis until and unless you classify them in a proper systematic order. right? So, table presentation or making table that will help you in simplifying the complex data. For example, in your locality, you are collecting the data regarding the number of people living in each family. Now, you have gathered the information, but until and unless you classify them into different columns and rows or you classify them according to the number of males and females, the description what you have gathered that will not solve your purpose. So, simplification or simplifying data is done with the help of table. You can make one column of the number of females in each household, second column number of males and then you can at a glance gather the information that how many males are living in a locality, how many females are living in a locality and along with the number of children. So, this way the complex data can be made easy to understand or simple to understand. This is done with the help of tabular presentation. Another is to make comparison. Second objective is to make comparison. 
Now, what do you mean by this? If you write down the data, like for example, if you are noting down the amount of rainfall in Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Bengal, now here 100, suppose 200 and then uh, you can say 30. Now, this this is 30 centimeters in a particular year. Now, this gives you at a glance the comparison that out of these three, which one has got more rainfall? This maximum is in MP, second is Bihar and third is Bengal. So, this way comparison can be made of any classification of data. It makes easy for you to compare from, uh, the data just looking at the table. So, this way it helps in comparison. Third is it helps is to analyze the data, to analyze the data. How? That when you are able to simplify it, when you are able to understand the data, when you are able to make comparison, then obviously you are able to make the analysis also that what do you conclude, what do you gather by looking out of the looking looking at the data. So, analysis of any kind is possible by looking at the data and without tabular presentation this analysis will not be that easy, right. So, this way it makes comparison, it makes simplification and it helps in analyzing the data. Fourth is to find out the errors. Now, tabulation again helps in finding out your errors. For example, suppose you, you have 40 children in a class and you have noted down the marks of each and every child or you can say you have categorized the children on the basis of different subjects of what they have offered and normally they have 5 subjects and 40 children you have divided into different categories according to the subjects offered. Now, when you do the total, suppose you are getting the total 38, that means you have skipped out two children and in the table when you are making the table in the end always there is a total column, total has to be given. Now, when you enter the marks and in the end you find out the total is coming to 38, then immediately you can make out that you have left out marks of two children or you have left out two children in categorizing the students on the basis of the subjects. So, this way the error can be detected with the help of tabulation. So, these are the objectives of tabulation. Now, the merits you understand that it makes it similarly these obje objectives can be present in, in, in another form. It makes the data simple to understand, it makes comparison easy, right. Then analysis can be done with the help of data or tabulated data and errors can be found out. So, this is the importance or objectives of tabulation of data. Now, we will see how the table is made.